Hey guys, welcome back to another initial hands-on review video, which means I dove into the game, but I didn't get too wet. So, we're going to talk about a little game called Square Heroes. Uh, maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. Maybe you're like, why did I click on this video? Well, I'm here to tell you why you did. So, Square Heroes, as you can see, cute, sweet style. What the hell is it? Well... As usual, I'm going to go ahead and break that down into simple comparisons to other games that you may or may not know. Uh, anyone familiar with Behemoth? You know, the guys who made Castle Crashers and Alien Hominid. Uh, you might be familiar with a little game they made on the Xbox called Battle Block Theater. And that's where we're going to start our comparisons. As you can see, if you're familiar with that game, this art style looks very similar to the art style in that game. And that's where I'm going to start. I really think this game is a good combination of Battle Block Theater and uh, sort of a Worms type game. Uh, as you'll see, the arena or stage plays out and or is set up sort of like a worms arena and this game is a battle like co-op couch battle or you can do like what we do which is the co-op uh i said co-op battle but it's really not co-op if you're battling is it anyway there's competitive multiplayer on the couch and there is also a co-op uh sort of survival uh, surviving waves on the maps and it's actually really fun uh, as you can see there's a lot of things you can unlock you level up uh, you get different uh, like weapons and powers you can do and the overall gameplay is just at fun uh, uh, sorry at home having fun on the couch uh, this is for sure a family and friends mash them, bash them, and laugh all night long type game. Uh, if you are looking for something you can play with up to four people on the same screen, this is a great, great catch. Uh, now, speaking of catches, is it worth the price of admission? Well, I don't know. Uh, I didn't see it in the store, and I haven't looked at the actual price of the game. Uh, once again, I recently purchased a subscription to the PlayStation Now service. Check out my review video on that if you're interested. And um, this is one of the games that was on the Now service that you can download and play offline. And so, as I said, I'm going to be making a lot more reviews because I have a lot more games to access through Now. And this is one of them. And this is one of those games. I would not have bought it in the store. Uh, I've seen it. I know I've seen the art style. And I passed it up. Because, you know, I'm like that, I guess. I think a lot of us probably are. At a certain point, you just kind of start passing up games or overlooking them. And uh, it's not even because you think they're bad. Sometimes it's just because they're too small. You know, you just don't, you don't look at them. They don't, they don't show up. But this is one of them that I've seen and never thought about buying it, but there's plenty of times that I've wished I had a good couch co-op game or a couch competitive game, and if I would have had this, I would have been happy. Uh, if you're into the Worms style gameplay, you're going to like this. If you are into the pick up, put down type gameplay, you're going to like this. It's definitely an arcade game. This is not, you know some solo adventure get into it type game this is a hundred percent a play it with your friends and family on the couch type game and uh as far as the price goes again uh or maybe not again but i i got it on playstation now so right now it's not really i have no skin in this game if i were to put a value on it though i'd say you can't go wrong for 10 to 15 dollars uh if it's in the playstation store for anything less than $15, it's a good deal uh, if you're in a position to, to pick it up. Uh, otherwise, I'd suggest actually just getting the, the PlayStation Now service for the price of one game. You can get a whole year of games like this and all kinds of other stuff. So, uh, But as far as this game goes, it's really fun. It's cute. It's easy. There's no like... It, it's actually harder than you would think. 
there's more structure, more depth to the gameplay uh, than you would think at first. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually really fun. Uh, we had a good time, and we will continue to have good times. This will become a regular in our family game nights, and um, hopefully it will for you too. Uh, that's my review. That's my take on this game. Uh, I thought it would go longer, but really I didn't need to because honestly this game is one of those games that doesn't need much more than an initial hands-on review. Is it fun? Does it work? Is it good? And you know, what's it worth? That's all you need to know. And the answers are yes, it is fun. Yes, it has depth to it. So, you know, you can, you can keep it. It's worth keeping in your library, adding to your family game night for sure, or your friend game night, whatever the case is for you. Uh, and it, as far as the price goes, like I said, I would put a value on it at $15 or below. You cannot go wrong there, or you could just get the PlayStation Now service and play it all year as much as you want or as little as you want. And that is my take. Uh, that was quick. Didn't even take 10 minutes. So if you're still here, thanks for watching. Um, you, I don't know if you're going to go out and buy this game. I'm not. It, it's not one of those things. It's like rush out and buy it. But like I said, if you see it on sale or something, pick it up. So there you go. Check out my other videos. Give me a subscribe if you would. I'm getting close to 200. I'd like to push 200 if I could. And uh, we got a bunch more reviews coming and more content coming. Uh, I'll be I'll be back to streaming and, and more in-depth videos as soon as my baby turns 18 and goes to college and I have all that free time back. So love you guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!